So in yesterday's video, we talked a little bit about professional Overwatch, the competitive scene, how it is to view as an esports, the meta with the different hero picks and all of that. And after that video, I decided that I wanted to give it give it another shot, I guess, in terms of the viewer experience. I wanted to watch a little bit of professional Overwatch, and it just so happened that there was a tournament taking place yesterday, the Beat Invitational, the winner's bracket, in fact. So I'm like, oh, fantastic. I'm going to get to watch some of the best people who can play Overwatch right now compete against each other. They all get invited to this tournament so that it, we're supposed to be assured that it's going to be exciting, uh, close games, fun, lots of high level skill and play. And what I ended up seeing was a just absolute disaster. It was a travesty. It was just one team completely stomping all over the other. Because I happened to tune in during the Envy vs. Code 7 Dorado match. It was like watching a professional team pop into quick play as a six man group and just stomp over a bunch of randoms. That's what it was like. And I did a little bit of research, and that's not what was the case. Code 7, along with Envy and Cloud9 and LG, all some of the best teams in the world. They're consistently performing well in tournaments, including ones that aren't invitationals, open events. But Envy appeared to just be a league above, and after doing further research, I found out that basically no one can touch Envy. They are the undisputed champions of Overwatch right now. They're one of the few teams that has a team house that they practice at every day, and, and they're, they, they've just been stomping all over tournaments. It's essentially all other teams are fighting for second place under Envy. What's a reason that's made this be the case? Well, number one, of course, Overwatch competitive is still fairly new. Yes, there were tournaments and stuff during the beta, but the game has only been officially launched for a little over a month now. So the, the scene is still in its infancy. But then I, I started to think that maybe some of what I was saying the other day holds true. Is a part of the problem here that there just aren't enough like really good people that are trying to play Overwatch? Because if people don't feel like this game has a chance at a professional level, then people who are good at video games are just going to play something else that already does have a competitive scene. They'll continue to play Counter-Strike, or they'll play League of Legends, or they'll play Dota, or whatever. Any other game that already has a, a strong competitive scene. So yes, part of the problem could just be it, it's too early, there's not enough money, and not enough people care to spend the time and the energy to go pro. So Envy, at this moment, just happens to be the team with the literal best players and the best organization together and best teamwork, and, and no one can touch them. You're seeing this footage in the background, which, by the way, I apologize, it's a complete mess. There's there's just stuff all over the screen beyond the fact that the game is already cluttered when when being played. It's professional esports, and they gotta appease the, the sponsors, and that means just garbage splashed all over the screen. I hope that in future tournaments, this stuff can look better, because it's just, it's like an eye, there's just too much garbage going on, that's all. But you're seeing this footage, and just look at this. This is ridiculous. Does this not look like just a professional team that queued up in a quick play and is dominating a bunch of randos. That, 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 it's really what it felt like. And it was unfortunate because th this was me in a situation of wanting to come to competitive Overwatch and wanting to watch this exciting and fun experience and then just come walking away being completely disappointed. And I think the takeaway here is that we need a couple of things to happen. Number one is that we either need some of these pro teams to start getting better so they can compete with Envy. But for that to happen, we need enough people to put the time and energy into it and enough people to care about the overwatch competitive scene and that's only going to happen if people can make money off of it because if you're trying to make money make a living off of playing video games competitively you're only going to do it with games that you feel like you can earn a living off of and if overwatch hasn't reached that point yet then not enough good players are going to care to put the time and energy into it now what does it take for people to care about that well it, it takes viewership it takes the money that comes from viewership because that's simply how it works the more people that watch professional overwatch tournaments the more money sponsors and advertisers are willing to give and the more of a prize pool that you can potentially have from being a professional and winning these tournaments it, it, it takes people wanting to watch the game and this might go back to the concern that i had the other day with just in general first person shooters typically not as engaging to watch in terms of like a spectator sport as i talked about in yesterday's video one of the few first person shooters that i've been, been able to watch for any significant duration has been CSGO. It's because it's a simple game. It's easy to follow what's going on. This guy got a headshot. That's that. He's dead. <laughs> 
Whereas in a game like Overwatch or in a game like Team Fortress or in a game like Evolve, these first person shooters that have just a ton of stuff going on, it, it's, it's just much harder to follow. Not so much for the people who play on a regular basis, but for the people who wanna just stop by and see, hey, what's this fuss all about? And that's how I am with Counter-Strike. I don't really play Counter-Strike, but I will on a regular basis watch Counter-Strike tournaments. I enjoy it, it's fun. So is Overwatch going to be capable of, of capturing a big enough of a market? Now I will say, yesterday's tournament actually drew a significant crowd. I think it was somewhere between 25 and 30,000 viewers concurrent when I was watching. Like those are some good numbers. Those are comparable to some of the bigger professional sports. You know, you, you see like Dota and League of Legends matches and tournaments getting up to 100, 200,000. Overwatch is still fresh and this was a this was a small tournament. No offense to the Beat Invitational, but this was a relatively small tournament. So I'm not terribly surprised that it didn't reach numbers close to that. I'm going to be really interested to see to say when we have the BlizzCon tournament for example, what those numbers look like and how many people care and will be captivated for long enough to continue to watch the game as time goes on. But as it stands, the current competitive scene just doesn't seem, it's not competitive enough with this one team that's completely stomping over everybody else. And the other teams don't even have team houses. I don't know if they're not practicing enough together or if they're just not good enough. Like I mentioned, if the scene isn't attracting enough good players because there's not enough of a chance or they don't have the perception that Overwatch is going to become a big esport, then we're not going to see a ton of really good players spend their time on this game. They'll spend their time on other games that they can try to make a living off of. So I'm going to I'm, I'm going to be really interested. I'm going to keep an eye on this for you guys. I know a lot of people just don't care, but I I do. I really like this game. So I want to keep an eye on the professional scene going forward. Expect to see some videos from me now and again talking about how the scene's developing, talking about some of the professional players and, and matches and stuff like that, um, because I do have a keen interest. I really like Overwatch. I would love to see it grow. I'm just not sure if it, it has a big destiny as an esport. Not quite yet. I don't know. We'll see. Only time will tell. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me here today. As always, I want to know what you guys think about this discussion. Uh, the Overwatch professional scene and the current professional teams, how do you feel about it? And how do you feel in general about this game as an esport? Love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me here today. As always, hope you have a fantastic afternoon. And until next time, I'll see you later.